Great morning, holy brothers and sisters! It is the 29th day of the Omer for those counting. It is the 14th of Iyar, known as Pesach Sheni, the day of second chances. And in the Kitzur Lekutur Maran, today's lesson will be called Hori Humility. This is teaching number 79, Betach Bashem Basei Tov, Trust in God and Do Good, from Psalms 37.3. Every person must see to it that he has no part in delaying the coming of Mashiach. Specifically, he should see to it that he rectifies his deeds and repents completely so that he does not delay the coming of Mashiach because of his sins. Each one of us has a huge impact on the world's future. In every Chutzadik, there is a revelation of Mashiach. At the very least, every Chutzadik has an aspect of Mashiach who is identified with Moshe, namely that he is humble in the extreme and he knows his true lowliness and the importance and the greatness of the Jewish people, to the point that he gives over his life and vitality for them. The way that the true tzaddik merited all this is that he repented so completely that the evil in him was totally expelled and he became entirely good. And indeed, this too is an aspect of Moshe and Mashiach. There are people who are not yet firmly established in the service of God and whose repentance is not yet complete. Instead, they sometimes experience thoughts of repentance and they begin a little bit in the service of God, but afterwards they fall from this and subsequently they once again wake up. Such people are constantly changing from bad to good and good to bad. That is, sometimes they're impure, sometimes pure, sometimes invalid, sometimes valid, and so on. This kind of repentance is associated with the six working days in that one is never at rest. However, when a person repents completely, this repentance is associated with the Shabbos in that he experiences absolute rest. The evil in him is totally expelled and he becomes entirely good. Then, he's able to see his own true lowliness and the importance of the greatness of the Jewish people until, as a result, he gives over his life and vitality for them. This is the aspect of Moshe Mashiach. Through the holiness of Shabbos, a person merits true humility. This means that he sees his own lowliness and recognizes the importance of the Jewish people and he gives over his life for them as Moshe, our teacher, did. The essence of humility is when a person considers himself to be beneath his own true level and lower than he actually is. This idea is alluded to in the Torah discussion about Shabbos. Every person shall abide below his place. No man shall go out from his place. Exodus 16, 29. Below his place means below his level. A person should view himself as being beneath his actual level. And at the very least, no man shall go out from his place above his level. That is to think that he's higher than he actually is. So even if we're not able to put ourselves down through humility, we should at least have the decency to know that we're not higher and better than we actually are. When a person is humble and lowly of spirit, no one can remove him or push him out of his place. In other words, deprive him of his livelihood, God forbid. When people put, put themselves higher and puff themselves up superficially and raise themselves through arrogance, they can be popped and or deflated and lose everything they have. But when we are truly humble so that we empty ourselves to be filled with God's presence, this makes one impenetrable and super strong. As always, thank you so much for learning together. And if you enjoyed this lesson, please remember to like, comment, share, and borrow. And please, God, we'll learn again tomorrow.